Good morning, fellow Catalina campers. It is now time to get out of those warm little beds, open up those sleepy little eyes, wash those dirty hands and faces, comb that matted hair, and brush those teeth. Have a great day, gentlemen. To generations of boys, from childhood to young adults, Cy Battison was more than a voice on the PA system that heralded another eventful day at Camp Fox. Cy was camp director for more than half a century. His leadership, mentoring, and friendships affected thousands of campers and helped transform countless lives. Along with the Y leadership, counselors, and staff, Cy made the camp experience one to remember for a lifetime. At age 102, Cy still has wonderful memories of his summers at Camp Fox. When the kids meet their parents on going away day, there's nothing that they know about Camp Fox. And when they get on the boat, they're all by themselves, but they still don't know anybody. But when they step off the boat and get to Camp Fox, all is the same for everybody. What was special for me about going to Camp Fox was the fact that it was, well, the YMCA was, was a religious organization. Okay, God first, your country second, and yourself third. And we had a chance to have boys all in the same group at one time, all being the same. They could go to the chapel together, they could go to the campfire together, they could do everything together at the first time. It was, it was just, just a glorious time to be there. And I, it's one reason I went back all those years. But that was the main thing that I did with, with my camp. You had to be there, you had to, had to be friends with the kids, you had to, had to make them just have a great time and then go home and say, hey, that was the best camp that I've ever been to. Camp Fox on Catalina Island turns 100 in 2026. It began originally as a summer camp for boys, but for most of its years has welcomed all youth and teens, ages 8 to 17, plus Easter and Labor Day weekend camps for entire families. There is no telling the positive impact that Camp Fox has had on generations of campers. But perhaps one camper said it best. At Camp Fox, I am the best version of myself that I could possibly be. Back on the mainland, in the heart of Glendale, the YMCA campus is a center attraction of outstanding community service. Three separate facilities occupy this busy property. The city's finest family fitness and activities complex. Plus two residential facilities totaling 154 units and serving low-income populations. The original 1926 building for men only and ACE 121, an arts colony development for families, opened in 2017. For Dr. David Vier, recently retired president of Glendale Community College, his first experience at a YMCA was growing up in the Midwest. David was eight years old, learning to swim and attending a summer camp. Today, he's keeping fit at the Glendale YMCA and volunteering as the Y's board chair. Well, when I was first approached to serve on the YMCA board of directors, I was impressed that the YMCA of Glendale is a community organization, one that is focused on three major pillars, youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. And those are things that I feel are important for a community to be the best that it can be 
And if Glendale is the jewel city, it needs a YMCA of Glendale focused on those three pillars. Well, members of the community first need to understand that those pillars that I have referenced are key to the success of individuals, but also to the success of the community. So I would urge community members, one, to become members so you can engage in healthy living, so your children can be involved in youth development, and so you as an individual can focus on the social responsibility of helping others be the best they can be working with each other. We have all of that at the YMCA of Glendale, and we are here to serve. The Glendale YMCA was founded in 1922 with a roar when boys petitioned that a YMCA be started with programs for athletics, fitness, and social activities. Influential community leaders got the message, formed campaigns to raise funds, and the rest is history. George Cycli has been associated with YMCAs for 37 years. 2022 is his 12th year as the Glendale Wise President CEO. In addition to Camp Fox, which is the flagship program for us, we also have a tremendous aquatic swim lesson program where we take sometimes 500 kids in the summer each month, teach them the skills of survival and how to swim. And then we also have a tremendous uh, gymnastics program that is, has won several awards in LA County, as well as if we go a bit older into the emotional intellectual side where we deal with youth in government for high school kids. We're aiming at working model UN as well, coming soon. Um, we try to really focus on using the best tools of today to make sure that the kids are prepared for the future. We also have tremendous strength training programs uh, for seniors. We have a big senior citizens uh, population coming into the Y, especially in the morning, and really helps add in quality to their life. And I remember during uh, COVID, I saw one of them when we were shut down, I saw him out at the, in the community and he said, when are you gonna open? I said, we don't know, it's up to the LA County and finding the situation. And he said, hurry up, my muscles are melting. And that made my day. You find an impact when you talk to people and they tell you how they feel and what the why meant to them. And it's amazing. Addressing the needs, listening to the changing needs and want and people, what they want from the why creates the impactful moments. Volunteers who support the YMCA contribute to the organization in so many important ways. They all have a story to tell. Steve Busjager, a second-generation YMCA board member, established the Greg Busjager Memorial Foundation in 2000 in memory of his dad to help fund local youth programs like the Glendale Y. The Y does more for the youth in this community than than any organization I can think of. So it became a natural fit for what the foundation was set up for. And at the YMCA, if they may make any profit, that means they can give away more camping memberships, more 
uh, uh, they can help more families afford gymnastics and swimming and 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 basketball and aftercare and you know the the YMCA is trying to to help as many people as they can um, as far as you know it's a not-for-profit business so the more money they can get the more families they can help and the more kids get an experience that they never would have had an opportunity to have about 10 years ago when George and Nada asked me to join the YMCA just because of the history and my positive experiences with the YMCA, I was honored. And then I saw that we were about 40% of women on the board. That also shows how inclusive the YMCA is. Being a woman on the YMCA board, I find that it adds another, an extra layer of compassion and empathy. And women, as you know, have great organizational skills. And we work terrific alongside our male board members. I'm so proud to be a YMCA board member, and I urge everyone to join us. I started getting uh, attracted to the Y when I start, restarted playing basketball. I got involved to be on the board, and I had the passion about uh, being part of the YMCA because I'm a physical educator. So it gave me the chance to give more back to the community what I know the best. The best thing about the YMCA is building friendships. And this have built up for my friendship with a lot of friends over 40 years, 30 years. And they're like my brothers. And every time I travel, I keep missing them and I, when I go to a new country saying, oh, if I move here one day when I retire, but I think about my friends at the Y, how could I leave them? To me, the Y has a big role to play as the best connector in town, where you harmonize the community, open dialogue, foster friendship, of regardless where people come from, ethnic backgrounds, you know, racial, sexual orientation, the why will be physical disability, all the access of the diversity. We create a connecting place where everybody feels special. And that's really what I mean about harmonizing. The last two and a half years have indeed been a challenge for all of us as members of the community here in Glendale and all of the service area that we support. We have to regroup and we are doing that at the Glendale YMCA. We are finding ways to assure individuals that they feel safe and secure when they come to the YMCA for building their bodies to return to healthy living, for giving their children an opportunity to get involved in our youth development activities. That's what we're doing now. We are opening up. We are available. We have schedules now put in place that will attract people to become able to show up at the YMCA and get the support and service they need. Some final thoughts from our members. What's cool about the Glendale YMCA? The swimming pool is great. Let's go with friends. Togetherness, family. Welcome. Resourceful. Togetherness. We love Camp Fox because of the friendships that we've made through the years, and we still maintain those friendships on Facebook. So Glendale YMCA is the heart of Glendale, but Camp Fox is the heart of so many hundreds of thousands of people that have been to the Glendale Y.